Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest celebrity bake off moments. You really shouldn't be able to snap a sponge. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most hilarious moments to happen by presenters and famous participants on the Great British Bake Off and the Great Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off over the years. Who is your favourite celebrity baker of all time? Let us know below. Number 10. Through Truth I am recumbent on a red lilo in the sea. My hair has been bleached by the sun and I'm wearing my favourite green swimming trunks. <laughs> Louis Theroux has been in some of the most dangerous places in the world and interviewed some of the worst people for his documentaries. But none of that could have prepared him for entering the Bake Off tent in 2020. I like it on Bake Off when they do this. It's like they really care. As he was in the midst of creating his shoe pastry sculpture, Paul Hollywood, Prue Leith and Noel Fielding went to chat with Theroux. After Leith mentions the danger he's faced in his life, Theroux deadpan says this. I actually find it more relaxing being on location in a prison, I think, than being here <laughs> right now. <laughs> Amazing. Number 9. Wet Help When you're in a competition, you're going to try and get any advantage you can. And James McAvoy certainly tried that. Oh no, 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 yup! When the Scottish actor dabbled in baking on the great stand up to cancer bake off, he discovered a common but big problem. His door was wet. When the camera crew interviewed him, McAvoy kept emphasising how damp the door was. It feels a bit wet. I'm going to say this enough times until hopefully one of the production team tell me what to do. The Charles Xavier performer planned to keep saying it until someone in the production mentioned how to fix it. Instead, he was met with silence. Silence is deafening. Still, McAvoy ended up winning Star Baker. Number eight, Tantastic. I just want to do this because they do this on the show. It so doesn't work. It's so stupid. Tan France, the master of the French took on Queer Eye, appeared in series three of the great stand-up to cancer bake-off and he couldn't turn off his fashion noggin during the event, especially when it came to Paul Hollywood's attire. I feel like this is my future. Could you imagine if I replaced Paul? Could you imagine Paul trying to style people? <laughs> After joking about replacing the baking judge on the show, Franz made this cheeky remark. I wonder if he's made more of an effort because he knows that I do this for a living, because he looks better than he's looked. Ever. That is true, darling. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> but even with his jesting jibes, Franz still ended up as Star Baker. We wonder if his Queer Eye co star and food guru, Antoni Porowski, had given Franz some advice beforehand. Number seven, Lysett's Lost Love. You have to be technical. Yeah. We're going to have to we're sit. Not, look at us, we're we, not technical. We no matter if Joe Lysett is taking on David Beckham or Liz Truss, he's always a delight. In the first series of The Great Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off, the comedian formerly known as Hugo Boss didn't have an easy time in the famous tent, so much so that he resorted to sneaky manipulation. When he presented his fruit turnovers, he wrote, I heart Paul in icing. We can ignore this thing. It says, I love Paul. I think that's bribery. Did it work? No, not at all. After coming third in the round, Lysett destroyed the message. Joe, terrible. Number six, accidentally anti-pride. I haven't actually practiced it or made it before. Sometimes the image of your creation looks so much better in your mind than in reality. Sadly, and hilariously, this is something Ashling B discovered. For the final episode of the first series of The Great Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off, the showstopper challenge involved making a rainbow dream cake. So, the comedian went with a pride-inspired treat. He's like, well, how are you going to make sure they all balance on top of each other? That's not going anywhere. And, well, it didn't exactly come out too well, as it looked like a messed up leaning tower of Pisa. However, the added sparklers were a great choice. Is there a reason it's on the lean? Yes, yes, because that's a surprise element of the cake. Oh, I see. Like Joe Lysett, B took some Dutch courage to ease her baking nerves. Only she drank straight from a can rather than hide it in a mug. Are you opening alcohol already? A no, Terry, I'm not. Number five, Roisin's Beach Cake. Despite claiming that cakes are things that live in her mouth, Roisin presented this disastrous showstopper that was, in her words, absolute carnage. 
Is it a hurricane? <laughs> In fact, it's such a mess that Noel even asks Paul if he's ever taken a handshake back. And it isn't just the appearance that was shredded by the judges, as Prue questions if they had even been baked at all, while Paul concludes that this is the worst gingerbread he has ever had. The colours are good though. <laughs> Should icing make that noise when it hits the table? <laughs> Thank goodness for shop-bought desserts, eh, Roisin? I like being Ouch. first and last though. Okay. I don't like middle ground. Number four, Lee Mack's attempt. It does taste really good for breakfast. Can I just ask, are you... Trying to invite me around for breakfast, are you coming on to me, Prue? <laughs> Lee certainly made a lasting impression in the Bake Off tent, just not for his baking. He barely gets started before managing to grate his fingers, squirt fruit juice in his eye, and break a pair of scissors. It's a lemon cake. Okay. My wife's recipe. She's a wonderful baker. Is she a dart player? She's not a dart player, no. She looks like one, but she's... <laughs> Somehow, he makes an incredible comeback with his showstopper, although he does also manage to throw his icing on the floor. He had said that he would consider it a win if he didn't burn down the tent, so we guess congratulations are in order. I want to know how you learned to bake overnight. Um, I mean, yesterday you couldn't bake. Well, I had the house to myself because my wife was out with Paul, and... Um, <laughs> I Number three, the missing door. You know when some people have dogs that look like them? And this is a tray bake that looks like me. Before Alison Hammond took over the mantle as Noel Fielding's co-presenter on the show, she was a contestant on the great stand-up to cancer bake-off on series three. And, like many celebs before her, she ran into a problem. But the This Morning icon didn't have an issue with the baking, per se. Instead, it was down to technology. As Hammond was about to put her tray into the oven, she realised the contraption's door was mysteriously missing. For 20... Where's the... Where's the door gone? After a few seconds of confusion, the penny dropped as her legendary laugh rang out. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Number two, cracking up. Would it be possible for Prue and Paul to judge it in the freezer? Having been a presenter on Bake Off The Professionals and worked on the great British Bake Off An Extra Slice, Tom Allen definitely had an advantage when he took part in the great stand-up to cancer Bake Off in 2021. And when the judges examined his millionaire shortbread, things got off to a good start when Hollywood cut into it and complimented the crack. Seeing the euphemism presented to him, he took it. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Nice crack. Thank you, but what do you think about the shortbread? <laughs> oh my. Then something magical happened. The Hollywood handshake was offered to the comedian. <gasps> no, oh, stop it! <laughs> then swiftly taken away as a tease. Number one, the iconic meme. No famous face has left as much of an impression on the great stand-up to cancer bake-off as James Acaster. Great flavour, not very well executed. Story of my life. <laughs> the comedian's appearance was filled with one memorable moment after another that spawned many, many memes that turned him into a national treasure. And we can thank Jetlag for it. I put loads of salt on it for a laugh. Yet one incident in particular resonated with the audience with its relatability. A sleep deprived Acaster had a bad time making his cherry bakewell flapjacks. Once he presented the mostly mushy remains to the judges, they asked him about his experience. Started making it, had a breakdown. <laughs> bon appetit. With blunt, jokey honesty, he told them about his breakdown and then finished with bon appetit to the delight of the tent and those watching at home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.